A number of years ago, the State Bar put out a little publication called 18's A Turning Point, and so a lot of the material I'm going to talk about today is having to do with that and, and how the law affects uh, the 18 year olds. And I think uh, Ari was the only 18 year old in here, but <laughs> you might have kids or grandkids, or maybe you have employees that are teenagers. So, um, Anyway, when I've given this presentation before with other youth groups and their parents, uh, I've tried to focus, instead of that whole publication, I've tried to pull out the stuff that they seem to be most interested in, the things that uh, uh, they have the most questions about. So, um, uh, you know, when, when a person turns 18, some things happen to them uh, from, as far as the law is concerned. First of all, the, the parents don't have to support them anymore legally. They're, they're on their own. You know, it's only by your kindness that they continue to, to, to be able to, to have your support. Uh, another thing, uh, 18, they can start being sued. And of course, they can also, on the other hand, sue other people. Um, the uh, men have to register for the uh, draft at 18. And uh, if a person commits a crime, even if they're in high school and you think, oh, they're just kids, they're 18, even in high school, they're going to be um, prosecuted in a regular court and not in the juvenile court. They don't have that protection. Juvenile court's designed for rehabilitation, to give them a second chance, kind of get their life in order and get back and be in a productive member of society. But 18, you don't have that protection. You're going to be with, uh, with everybody else. Uh, the age of majority in uh, California is, is 18. It used to be 21, and they lowered it to 18, with a couple of exceptions. Uh, one of those, uh, <laughs> you might be able to guess. Uh, you're nodding, OK. What? Alcohol. Alcohol, of course. you got to be 21 for that. Um, the other one is, a, uh, is a driving, you know, 16. You're considered uh, old enough to, to be able to, to drive, if you'd like. Um, but 18-year-olds, uh, they can enter into contracts, so that's important for you as, as owners of business. Uh, if they aren't, obviously, you need to get their legal guardian or parent to, to sign if they're, if they're entering a contract with you. Um, and I know Gene knows this, but buying and selling real estate, same thing. Got to be over 18 or else have their guardian or parent to help them with that. Um, also, when you turn 18, they can get married without their parents' consent. And uh, sometimes that co may cause some consternation in the family if they don't really approve of the person. But legally, there's not a lot they can they do. Uh, they can also uh, create their own will once they get 18. They can uh, set up their own wills. Uh, they can vote. You know, we had an amendment that changed that eight, age to, uh, to vote at 18. And uh, uh, whether you like it or not, you're going to get to serve jury duty as friend uh, Bruce's fond of doing every 18 months or whatever. Um, they can join the Army, the military, and they um, can consent to have uh, medical treatment or dental treatment without their parents uh, involved on in that. Um, so one of the things uh, that I run into quite often is I'll have somebody that's under uh, 21, that legal age of drinking, and they'll get some type of alcohol violation. It doesn't even have to be a DUI, but um, or, or drug possession. What's going to what's that going to trigger besides whatever other penalty the law imposes? They're going to have a, a one-year license suspension. So that's uh, pretty pretty uh, traumatic for most of them because they're, as a young person, they're anxious to drive and get around, and uh, having to their license taken away for a year is a big deal. There are some uh, exceptions to, to get around that, and that's where uh, a good attorney will, will be able to see if they qualify and, and come under one of those exceptions where they can, um, uh, what, what we call uh, a critical need to drive, but we can show that to the court, then they'll be able to drive for, for, a, for some limited purposes. Um, sometimes, uh, uh, people will, act, well, the typical things they get uh, driving uh, uh, trouble will be a reckless driving. That's a maximum penalty of six months on that. Uh, a speed contest, you know, they like to show off to their friends. They're going to get 90 days on that. A hit and run, I don't know, 
Maybe some of you heard on the news recently how many hit and runs there are over in LA County. I was surprised how many there are, like 20,000 a year. That's a, that's a lot. But they're trying to cut down on that. Currently, the penalty on that is the uh, <coughs> six months of jail, a thousand dollar fine uh, if there's no injuries involved. There are injuries in the, uh, in the jail time can go up to a year. Um, this is something as, as parents, you, I, I wasn't even aware of this till I got this article from the bar, but there is a health and safety code uh, section violation, which makes it unlawful uh, to smoke in the car if there's a minor in the car with you. That's a, uh, it's a, I've never seen that. All the years I've been doing this, I've never seen anybody been running up to that. I don't smoke in the car with their kids, but uh, there is a, uh, it's a, it's, it's an infraction, you know, it's, it's not a, you're not going to go to jail on it, but it's, you know, it's an infraction like a ticket, but uh, it's just kind of really, okay. Um, uh, I'm going to skip this part because uh, I don't think any of you really care about the licensing laws. I mean, if the kids, kids really want to know, like, okay, what do you have to do for that? And some of the parents do, too, because they've all changed since we got our, our licenses at 16. They put in these uh, new things for provisional uh, permits and learner's permits. And, and uh, you know, it, if any of you are interested in that, you can see me after, and I can shoot you over a, a copy of all the, the um, laws that deal with that. It's, it's quite... Um, they made it much more complicated and complex than it used to be for getting a license. Um, let me just talk for a minute about uh, alcohol. Um, let me ask you this. It, what, are there any types of alcohol beverages that are allowed uh, to be purchased uh, at 18? No, like beer. Beer? beer. What? Near beer. Near beer. Uh, I, I don't know. If it's got alcohol content, it's a no. So I'm not sure what near beer, if that's just flavored like beer with no alcohol. But if it's... <laughs> yeah. Mouthwash. Yeah. You know, you're all right with those. Um, some people think, though, that, oh, uh, it's just, uh, three, you know, it's a 3.2% beer. It's okay, you know, but it, it, it's not. It's, it's the same thing as if they got vodka or any other hard liquor. So... And <clears throat> selling to uh, those under 21 is a, uh, is a big, uh, they do a lot of sting operations on that. They get funded, the state funds the different counties to go out and try to, to curb that. A lot of times it's innocently and they're done, um, you know, sometimes unknowingly, you know, they'll uh, get brushed in, in the convenience store or something, a big line, and they're trying to hurry people through and they won't check their ID or whatever closely, but thank you. Um, what about your kids drinking at home? Uh, some parents think that, well, that's okay. I'd rather have them at home than go out and drink and then drive. Um, if, if you do that, uh, you need to know that parents can face up to a year of jail, a $1,000 fine if, they, if, the, if their child causes an accident or, or their friends are in your home and they're drinking in your home. So don't don't think, get the idea that, oh, that'll, that'll be okay because they're off the road, they're here at their home. Because if they do that and then they leave your home, you're going to be on, on the hook uh, for a misdemeanor. Um, some some uh, kids, when I present this, they're like, well, if I'm holding my friend's uh, roach clip or a pipe, can I get in trouble? Yes, that's called uh, possession of paraphernalia, even though it's not your stuff. If you've got it, uh, you're going to get popped for that. Um, I've talked a little bit about this before, I think, about using somebody else's prescription. You might have the same prescription at home, but it's not your your prescription, but it's the same stuff. Uh, you, you can get up to uh, 12 months of jail or 10 years of prison time, depending on what the uh, substance is. So uh, be careful about, about uh, doing that. Um, and uh, uh, minors, as I, I mentioned earlier, they can also lose their license besides alcohol by possessing uh, a controlled substance or drug. They can lose their license for up to a year. That's, that's a, uh, a, a misdemeanor on that as well. Also, some of the uh, youth uh, participate in sports using steroids. 
That is, a, uh, if they're convicted of distribution of uh, steroids, they can face up to five years in prison. So if they've got them and they're getting... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, this is a raid. Uh, <laughs> so don't, uh, don't, if your kids are an athlete, don't, don't have them be helping their friends by passing them out. Uh, that, that's really a, a big deal. Uh, Anyway, appreciate your uh, time today, and uh, thank you very much.